Many large and profitable businesses today didn't become successful alone. They actually partnered with other companies. But where do you begin your partnership research process? Well, you can get help from ChatGPT. In this video, I'll show you some very powerful ChatGPT prompt templates that you can use to develop your own strategic business partnerships. So let's get started. Now, the prompt templates that I will be showing you today will come from the Keywords Everywhere browser add-on. So go to keywordseverywhere.com and install this browser add-on, then go to ChatGPT. On the top right-hand corner, you'll see this new templates button, and when you click on it, it'll open up the ChatGPT prompt templates widget by Keywords Everywhere. There are hundreds of prompt templates uh, that you can choose from, but for the ones that are geared for partnerships, what we are going to do is click on the category dropdown, then click on marketing. And for the subcategory, we're going to click on partnerships. And these are all of the seven uh, partnership prompt templates that you can use. Now the templates that you see with the blue diamond are reserved for Keywords Everywhere customers on the silver plan or higher. So just keep that in mind. Now the first thing when it comes to planning out your partnerships is to figure out what type of business you can partner with. So let's try this first template called Partner Profiling. Now this prompt template will generate a list of ideal partner profiles for a new partnership. You can choose from a variety of languages, even uh, different voice tones and writing styles. Now these two might not be too important for the uh, partnership prompt templates, so I will leave both of them as default. But what is important is adding your industry or niche. So you need to specify your industry or niche right over here. Let's just say I have a website design company. So my industry will be website design. All right, so we can see here when I type in website design, it automatically populates in this prompt template. And you can see that right over here. Now you do have the option to edit any of the text inside your prompt template, but I'm gonna leave everything as is and click on execute template. Okay, so as we could see here, ChatGPT provided us with a list of strategic partner profiles. So various types of businesses my website design agency can possibly uh, partner with. So we can see the first one here are freelance web designers and boutique studios. Now the characteristics of these are small teams or solo professionals offering custom design services, and their business model are uh, project-based fees, retainer agreements, and time-based billing. And they also provided us with a list of how my website design agency can align with the freelance web designers and boutique studios. Now this second uh, partnership profile are the no-code, low-code website builders. You could see their characteristics, what their business models are, and also how we can possibly align. There's also digital marketing agencies, CMS and hosting providers, e-commerce platforms, and SaaS tools, and also startup incubators and VC portfolios. So each profile represents a high potential segment for synergistic growth. Select based on resource match, brand positioning, and long-term strategic fit. So if you are a web design agency, these are the types of businesses you can possibly partner with. Now, after you decide what type of business you can possibly partner with, we are going to use the next prompt template, and that's the compatibility assessment. Now, this prompt template will generate a compatibility analysis between two companies exploring a partnership. So you need to put your company details right over here, so I put down, I have a web design agency that creates custom, user-friendly WordPress websites for dental offices. Clients often ask for SEO help post-deployment. Okay, so these are my company details. Of course, the more detailed you can be, the better. And this is where we add the partner details. 
Now, when I was reviewing this list of strategic partner profiles, uh, number three stood out to me, digital marketing agencies. So these are agencies offering bundled services, including SEO, PPC, and website design. So the SEO portion is something that stands out to me because my website design agency doesn't offer any SEO services. So I wanna see if I can potentially partner with other types of um, agencies that focus on SEO. So I'm gonna put down the partner details right here of an SEO agency. So I put down Lead Tagger helps local businesses and is an SEO agency. They do not offer web design. They focus on a variety of local businesses and they are looking for a stream of customers without having to cold call. Now let's see if we are compatible with this specific potential partner. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna scroll down towards the bottom and first take a look at the conclusion, which will tell us whether or not um, our website design agency is compatible with this SEO agency, okay? So it says, this partnership is strategically compatible with high potential for short and midterm success. It offers clear joint value, minimal service overlap, and strong synergy. And to ensure long-term alignment, both sides should formalize expectations around lead volume, niche commitment, and client handling standards. Now let's take a look at all of the details here. So it says there is a high joint value proposition, and there also is a strong product service synergy as well. And in terms of the cultural fit, it's moderate to high, and there is moderate long-term alignment. So in conclusion, yes, I do agree with this. I think my website uh, design agency can definitely partner with this SEO agency. So for the next step, let's go to the prompt templates and let's click on define partnership objectives. Now this one is very important because this prompt template will generate a list of smart goals for this new partnership. So I'm gonna put down the same uh, company details right here and the same partner details of the SEO agency. And let's click on execute. Okay, and these are the objectives we should be meeting if we do decide to partner together, okay? So we first have the short-term objectives. So we need to make sure we implement a referral workflow. We need to also figure out an introductory uh, co-branded offer and also develop the client handoff as well. So that's within the first six months. And then after that, we can focus on joint revenue growth. We need to position ourselves as a dental marketing duo and figure out how we can scale the partnership, okay? So we have both uh, short-term and long-term objectives that we should meet if we do decide to partner together. Now, if you're ready to reach out to the partner with a proposal to work together, you'll need to plan it out, which leads us to the next prompt template, and that is the partnership plan proposal. Now, this prompt will outline a partnership proposal listing out all the details, okay? So let's put down my company details here and my partner's details, and let's execute this. Okay, so this is the outline of the partnership proposal that we can use to send to our partner so we can actually get started working together. So this is the outline, this is the summary, they also list out objectives, the value exchange, so what the web design agency provides, and also what the SEO agency provides, and also roles and responsibilities, and this is uh, very important to make sure we have correctly laid out also next steps. So the initial alignment call, referral system set up, there is a pilot phase, so the first 60 days, and review and scale. So now what you can do is put this in a Word document, flesh it out, finalize it, and send it to your prospective partner. Now to make sure this partnership is a fruitful one, we can use the performance metrics uh, prompt to lay out all the KPIs we should be measuring, okay? So we're gonna use this partnership performance metric prompt template. Here are my company details and the partner's details. Now let's execute. Okay, so these are all of the specific 
partnership KPIs we should be measuring. So the first one is lead generation and referral metrics. So the goal here is to have a consistent flow of qualified leads to Lead Tagger, the SEO agency. And in terms of the timeline, it's monthly and it's reviewed quarterly. So you want to measure the number of SEO referrals per month, the referral to contact rate, and also the referral to conversion rate. We also want to focus on revenue impact as well. We of course want to generate incremental revenue for both parties. And also what's important to measure is the client's retention and satisfaction, operational efficiency, and lastly, the strategic growth indicators with the goal of strengthening and expanding the partnership over time. And we should be reviewing this annually. So it says these KPIs provide a clear performance framework tied to lead flow, revenue, client outcomes, operational health, and strategic scalability. Now let's get even deeper and negotiate deal terms, okay? We need to put our company details and partner details and let's execute this one. Okay, so ChatGPT laid out exactly what we should be negotiating. So we should be negotiating revenue sharing. We also should be negotiating intellectual property rights, exclusivity, and any exit clauses as well to allow for an orderly and fair disengagement process if and when that time comes, and also governance as well to ensure accountability and maintain alignment in the long term. So this framework supports a collaborative, fair, and growth-oriented partnership while protecting each party's interests and ensuring long-term sustainability. So you definitely want to lay out your deal terms, negotiate them with your partner before you decide to work together. Now to manage the relationship, we need to figure out how and when to communicate with each other, which leads us to the final prompt template, which is the stakeholders communication strategy. So this will generate an internal and external communication plan for an ongoing partnership. So we need to put our company details and the partner details and click on execute template. And this is our fully fleshed out uh, partnership communication plan. So it first starts off with the main communication objectives, also details about how and when to update the stakeholders. So we can see a list of stakeholders, when or how often they should be updated and what kind of content we should be showing them and the format of that content. There's also the cadence of communication. So exactly how and how often we should be communicating and exactly for what purpose. ChatGPT also listed out some tools that we can use to best communicate with each other. And they also listed out this table that we can fill out for the points of contact and also some specific message guidelines. So it says, this communication plan ensures the partnership remains responsive, transparent, and aligned across both operational and strategic levels. So with these ChatGPT prompt templates, you have the tools to develop your own strategic business partnerships with confidence. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know by smashing that like button and also subscribing to our channel. And if you wanna check out other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you.